Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. Today we're going to be doing an infinite series problem. So this one is, looks like this, um, the sum uh, k equals zero. We're doing the sum to infinity. This is the series, two-thirds to the k. Um, so the problem asks us to determine whether or not this infinite series converges and if it does converge, to determine its value. Um, so the formula that we need and the formula that you're going to use for um, a huge percentage of um, basic infinite series problems in Calculus 1 and 2, at least at a, at a college level, um, is the following. Um, the, the formula is actually really simple. Um, k equals 0 to the k, and then um, okay, it's actually um, the the formula is actually written out in a lot more detail than this, but these are really the only three parts that you need to remember. So the first is if your series is in this form, which or if you can simplify it to this form. You may not be given it exactly in this form, but if you can get it to this point. So if this applies, if it's in this form, and the absolute value of x, this x here, is less than 1, um, then in that case the series does converge and this is the value that it converges to. So in this case, um, this formula does apply to us because as you can see, our uh, problem is in the exact same form as this. The only difference is that um, our x is two-thirds here. So since it's in the same form, we know that this applies. Um, now we have to check and see whether or not it converges or diverges. Um, the way that we do that is with this, which is our uh, convergence test. So the absolute value of x less than one. Um, so that would be our x is two-thirds, so the absolute value of two-thirds is just two-thirds. And if you're not familiar with absolute value, all that it means here, if this were a negative two-thirds, the absolute value of negative two-thirds would just be positive two-thirds. It's always the positive, uh, the positive value of what's ever inside the absolute value brackets. So in this case, it's already positive, so it just remains two-thirds. But the absolute value of x, um, in our case, is just two-thirds, and two-thirds is less than one. So yes, um, that meets this criterion. So in that case, our series does converge. So that's one half of our answer. And now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and write converges. Um, so the series does converge, and now we just need to find um, its sum, the value that it converges to. And if this applies, and if it does converge, it converges to this value, 1 over 1 minus x. In our case, of course, x is 2 thirds here, so it's just 1 over 1 minus 2 thirds, which we can simplify. I'll go ahead and make this 1 here 3 thirds, so that we can um, easily subtract here on the bottom. So we get 1 over um, 3 thirds minus 2 thirds is 1 third. And then 1 over 1 third is the same as 1 times 3 over 1, or just 3. So um, we know that the value of this entire series, or the sum of the whole series, is 3. And therefore, our final answer is that the series does converge and that its sum or value is three. And that's it. Thanks, guys.